LSU and the state said the hospital police and told the medical staff, get the hell out of here. The medical staff said, wait, we work here. There's sick people in this city. We're treating them in tents on cots in Audubon Park. The hospital police came back and said, if you don't get the hell out of here, you're going to jail. The hospital could have been reopened. That's a crime against humanity. A crime against humanity. And we know today that the fancy new hospital that the state and LSU want to build on top of a recovering neighborhood for $1.2 billion that they don't have, that we could build a state-of-the-art world-class hospital inside the four walls of charity for more than $400 million less that could be open in two and a half years. You need to share this with the people you talk to every day. The people who look to you for leadership. The people who care about this city. And the people who care about who, how all of us here today are going to be judged by history. Did we act? Did we stand up? Did we make our voices heard? And did we demand that health care is a human right in this city. Health care needs to be accessible to all. And we're not going to take anything from Governor Jindal or anyone else, anything less. All right. So, again, I want to thank all of you all for coming. I want to especially thank the young people who brought us here together today. Give it up for the young people. <laughs> How y'all doing? Right. Thank you, Mr. Morial, because this event is actually youth-led and youth-centered and experiences. Um, I'm in Disa and I'm a member of Fire Youth Squad, but I'm also... Where's FIS, by the way? FIS! I'm also a member of this grassroots group called Insight. I-N-C-I-T. <laughs> we challenge violence, and for us, Violence isn't just some interpersonal interaction. That's violence. Violence is also state and institutionally induced. And a lack of quality health care is state violence. When being a parent of color and when being un or underinsured of low income means you're automatically criminalized, stigmatized, and marginalized by the state institutions, that is violence. When Someone asks public resources versus private resources, and, and if it's public, you're suddenly criminalized and stigmatized and made to feel bad about what you need and ask for. That is state violence. And we have been trying to actually address that. So after Katrina, that's what happened is we opened a grassroots health clinic that sees the entire person because lots of uh, t time is spent talking about the prison aspect of it. But at the same time, it starts at the cradle. When parents of color are always criminalized via health care and being told you're a